Seven Questions with Stephen Brad. Seven Questions with Stephen Brad. It's another episode of Seven Questions with Stephen Brad. It's been a long time since we've it's done Seven Questions, time. but we yes. had to do it with this incredible, incredible man, Cameron Matheson's joining us for Seven Questions. What's up, guys? I love What's you, up, dude. dude. Oh, my God. What's I up? Pick it up. You look gotta at, pick it look, up. Look out. It's like it's like Watch go out. back to go back to 2004. Bring that 2004 energy, camera. Let's go. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Speaking about 2004, what is your strangest take off your shirt moment that you can recall? Either in terms um, of location or circumstance. On the show, on the show in real life. On the Whatever. show in real life. Whatever. Doesn't, Doesn't matter. Dick. Doesn't matter. Especially on this um, show. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, you know, I, the first one that popped into mind, I'll go with this one. It was on the show and they had me taking my shirt off, you know, when it was sort of made sense, love scenes or trying to seduce people or whatever. But there was this one scene where I was in an elevator with some people and they had me take a shirt off in the elevator with some people. Like, it wasn't because it was too hot. It wasn't like I remember reading the script and honestly feeling like I missed something. Like, wait, 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 why am I? Why, like, I just started taking my shirt off in the That's elevator amazing. and really close to people. That's so amazing. Oh, I man. love that. Oh, I you know what that. makes yeah. me so sad is that COVID has probably killed the shirtless elevator moments now. Yes. It's never going to well, happen you know, again. I'm not, well, I'm, I'm glad you're sad. I'm not so sad. Hey, <laughs> you and I in an elevator on GH. Watch out. Cameron Matheson, do you bake? I, I know you've you've had so many you've been in these movies over the years about baking. Do you yeah, bake? Murder, yeah, that's right. Murder she baked. That's true. And I baked a whole bunch on home and family, like nonstop every day. Um, so I bake at home, but I bake like like stuff that nobody wants to eat but me, like super low carb, like keto things. Skin, yeah, like, I bake. I, I'll I don't eat bake em. well though. I don't bake well. I'll eat amazing. Em. That's 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 impressive though. <laughs> New York or LA, but in within that, you can say Toronto or Montreal too. Like in terms of cities, you've lived in a bunch of cities, uh, working in New York, working in LA. Yeah, pick but then one. You're, pick, yeah, pick, pick the winner. Pick one. Okay, I'm going to have to pick, I, I'm going to pick LA. And the reason I'm picking LA is because I'm not in like Hollywood. I'm We're kind of out in the San Gabriel Mountains, but it's still technically LA County. Yeah. So we have like space and a view of the mountains and I, you know, like a big yard and then you've got the weather and the, the beach is like 45 sure. minutes away. I can ski Mammoth Mountain in four and a half hours. I have the desert two hours away. And yeah. then you can go Redwoods up in the Northern California. Like I can golf uh, 12 months a year. I, you know, I'm going to LA. Beach or mountains? Oof. That is a really tough one. I'm in quarantine in the mountains right now in, in, in British Columbia. I'm going to say... I'm going to say mountains. I've been a diehard okay. skier my whole life. Okay. All right. All right. Next question. What is your favorite or do you have a favorite Susan Lucci moment? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Absolutely. My favorite Susan Lucci moment, hands down, is when they put Ryan with Erica and we were a couple for five minutes on the show. Yeah. And I got to go in. And I got to kiss Susan Lucci, man. It was amazing. I what? loved it. I went in and it was the whole moment around the head, around the hand, around the back and gave oh. her a big old slow, Ooh. soft, sensual kiss. Was that, was that, was that in the elevator? It was not. And I had my <laughs> shirt on, unfortunately. You've done a lot of hosting. If you had to say your dream hosting gig, whether it's in a live event or a kind of show, if you could pick anything to host, what would it, what would it be? It would be Home and Family, the show I hosted on Hallmark Channel. It was the best job I've ever, best hosting job I've ever had. I loved it. Wow! Uh, it was awesome, everything. Man. Everything about that show was the was the the greatest thing that I've ever had the, a chance to do. Easily, hands down, no doubt about it. It was two hours of sunshine every day, positivity. You know, helping people feel good and about their lives and doing stuff. I got to bring my family on and cook with me and do stuff in the backyard. I did fitness segments on the show and I got to oh, wow. interview incredible people. And it was, uh, it was the best show I've ever hosted for sure. I, I wouldn't want anything more than that. Awesome. Wow. Dude. Oh, That's well, I'm glad you had that opportunity. That's amazing. dude. Yeah, me, great. Too, me too. <laughs> on the scale of one to 10, what is your excitement level about working with Michael Knight again? Oh, 
Oh, Mikey Knight. Oh, my God. Through the roof, man. Through the roof. What's, what's the highest? The 10's highest? The yeah, 10's no, highest. On, no, uh, through the roof. I love that guy. I love him. I always have. He's amazing. 10, 10 squared. Cameron Masterson, ladies and gentlemen. Cameron seven questions. Well done. Well done. Well Thanks, done. Cam. Thanks, guys. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our tour dates at stonecoldandthejackal.com.